guys, welcome to season 3 of Webio. Can you believe it? Two seasons have passed. We're in the second half of the year 2015 and I'm coming to you live both literally and virtually from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm actually attending a summer program at Carnegie Mellon University and along that, along with the new season 3, I decided why not start moving west from the northeast. So over the next couple of videos in season 3, I'll be moving progressively west to cover the Midwestern part of the United States. And our first stop is Pittsburgh. This is a urban railway line that I'm proposing that uses existing tracks to connect Pittsburgh Central to 4 mile run and it'll pass through Oakland, which is, according to the census, the third biggest downtown in Pennsylvania after downtown Pittsburgh and downtown Philadelphia. Oakland is like Pittsburgh's second downtown right next to Carnegie Mellon University and University of Pittsburgh. Now before we actually get into this line, I'd like to tell you why I believe this should be done. In 2012, the light rail was extended from the downtown to the north. They were actually originally going to extend it to the east but what figured what th happened is that the price would be prohibitively expensive because they were planning a tunnel underneath the hills of eastern uptown Pittsburgh. Therefore, the line was extended to the north and no link was made between Oakland and Pittsburgh. However, I have proposed a final link and I think you'll like it. Line will start in Pittsburgh Central, which is the same place as a Pittsburgh Union Station right here or Penn Station, it's disputed on whether what you'll call it, it has been changing names so much. It'll be a diesel multiple unit line. So basically what it'll be, it's a kind of a metro style train, but the line will not need to be electrified to allow train operations at a high capacity. These are the type of trains that will be running on the line. As you can see, there's no electricity nearby. These are all diesel multiple units so no physical track changes will be required. So the first station is Strip in the Strip District. The next station is Polish Hill, which is near Polish Hill and Washington's Landing on the other side with easy access to the opposite side of the Allegheny River. This is also a very dense area of Pittsburgh. After this, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, there is actually a BRT line running right next to the existing line up to this point right here. And I was actually planning an extension, but I figured out that the BRT line was right there, so it wouldn't be worth it to extend the railway line there. So I actually ex made it go on the southern branch to Oakland, which is anyways a more important route for Pittsburghers. So after Polish Hill, the line will continue and it will deviate from the existing BRT line and have a stop at Baum Boulevard. And I do think, I do want the bus line to have a major stop here so people from the busway coming from the other eastern suburbs of Pittsburgh can transfer to the urban railway line right here. The line will go through the existing tunnel underground and it will stop at Oakland North which will be a new station in the tunnel underneath 5th Street and Neville Street. The line will emerge from the tunnel next to Carnegie Mellon University and stop at Oakland Central which will have easy access to, you guessed it, the central part of Oakland. Oakland has a lot of business, commercial and education in the area. I do think that this will be the second busiest station of the line after Pittsburgh Central and this station will allow this entire region along with Oakland North. These two stations will connect Oakland to Pittsburgh much more cohesively than they have before. Before people had to rely on bus lines and that would take 15 to 20 minutes between the two places. I know this because I've had to experience that. However, with this line it will only take 7 minutes which is a big drop in time between the two places. After Oakland Central, the line will continue next to Shenley Park and it will end at 4 mile run which is right next to Mahonga Hela River. So this line is unique in that it not only serves the Allegheny part of Eastern Pittsburgh but also the Mahonga Hela part of Eastern Pittsburgh. 
So this line will barely cost any money. All that really needs to be done is to build the stations and to buy the trains and to buy the signaling and whatever to build the line. No electrification is required and I do think this will be a very successful line in the Pittsburgh area. I have not planned an extension yet. If I do, I'll put it in a future web view, but for now I think this is a good route from Pittsburgh to Four Mile Run via Oakland. Thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying season three.